Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great year, folks. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. This is going to be a good one, folks, for kicking into the new year. Doing your best to me means to take action on your ideas. You can have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 116, NASDAQ is down 80, SP's down 3, gold contract down a buck 30, trading at 18.07 an ounce. We have silver up 13 cents, $23.11 an ounce, light sweet crude. Down 36 cents, $75.94 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note up two ticks, trading 130.20. The 30 year down free at 160.21 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is up 98 ticks, trading out at 96.191. The Euro is at 113. The Yen is at 114.81. And the British Pound is at 134 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. And what do you have? So if we take a look at the SPY, what we had out here yesterday, folks, is this. You broke topside. The break topside is saying that the SPY wants to go to 450. Uh, and the way I get that, folks, is that all you're doing is that I'm taking the, the consolidation that was in place. You take the width of the consolidation, which is 25 points. You add it on to the top. Bottom line, you get approximately 498 to 500. So we'll see how this baby shakes out. The thing that's pretty wild, when you do look at the S&P, the last time we did this, we did the exact same thing. And you're going to see when we consolidated from the price from the time of uh, September 2nd going all the way over to this uh, 25th, it was the same number. It actually came up right to the same number, meaning that consolidation brought you up to the 473. And we'll see how this baby shakes out. Uh, you know, it makes sense to me today that you're going sideways and uh, the market couldn't hold higher price. Why? Because when you get that much acceleration on the way up, bottom line, takes a huge amount of energy. Normally, you go sideways for a few days after that. When I take a look at the Qs, what you have with the Qs is this. The Qs got to a 404 today. It's trading down 165. But the way this is set up, this is not, this is not going away from these highs. That's, that's, that's what it looks like to me. Closing high in the queues was 403.99. So it looks like we may, we may be underneath that today, but bottom line, when, you when you're looking at this, this tells me that this, the queues also want to go into its high, which is the 408 number. Small caps, let's take a look at the small caps, the IWM. We go take a look at the uh, Russell 2000. Using the small caps, so we have the small caps. That also went to its swing point, couldn't handle price, 225. Uh, you're at 223, bottom line, that, that looks to me as going higher also. You, you get over the highs, you, you're gonna be underneath them. This is gonna build some cause, I suspect, to at least get into that gap, which is the 228 area. Gold, gold contract out here, we have with the gold contract, didn't hold price again. We got up to a price point of uh, 1821. I'm just curious, I wanted to see this. I was listening to Basil. Oh, good. Okay, so the gold contract's over the 200 moving average, 200 day moving average. Now, I don't use moving averages, folks, but it's always good to pay, basically take a look at them. Um, so they're all they're all under it. The, the contract itself is over the 200. So bottom line is that you know, my take on gold, folks, is we're going to 1925, and we'll see how this baby shakes out. King dollar. What do we have with King dollar? We take a look at King dollar, and that's still a sideways move, slightly higher, and you know. King Dollar's been on a toss-up. Every day is just, you know, consolidating, going basically at the higher end of the consolidation or the lower end. When I do look at the euro, it looks to me like the euro's getting off the low, has been building a base, and if that's the case, the bottom line is that uh, the euro can make this run up to 116. That would be saying that the dollar would go back to its breakout area. So, you know, the euro is 60% of the dollar index, and when we take a look at it, you can see quite clearly, you can just flip the, the dollar one around, and what do you have? You have the bottom line, the exact same setup. The difference is the dollar is at high, the euro is at low. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market out here. Ten-year note 
This has also been going sideways as light volume. They're all going to be light volume this week. You get 10 years up by two ticks. You're at 130.20. And we are right now 1.47. 1.47 is your uh, yield on that 10 year. We go take a look at uh, TWI. This is Titan. I believe it's a big tire company. Yeah, Titan International. Okay, so this is up 67 cents. The low is $4.68. The high is eleven eighty two. They come out with their numbers March 4th. Okay, and so the question is, uh, do you see it pulling back? Okay, so this has been quite a move. In five days, we've gone from a price point of $7 to $10.81. What I can, let me just look at something. What I can tell you is this. This is the type of move, okay, that you normally get in the commodity market. That, that's how this works. You're going to be patient with it. And then once the move comes, they're straight line moves, man. You know, so the question is, do, you, do I see a pullback? And I don't see a pullback until this gets up to the highs. Because what you have here is that you get the long price bars. When you get long price bars and you're going after a swing point, most of the time it just goes for the whole deal. Let me just, I'm putting this, let me see, cancel that one. I'm putting... I just want to see if anyone's really buying this thing. Okay, so we're in December. I don't have any new buys right there. No, I don't have any new buys. But the bottom line is that that is one strong stock. There's no, there's no two ways about that. That is quite a move, man. Holy cow. Well, actually, let's look at this here. So let's do it this way. We put it on a weekly because I think it broke out of consolidation. When you break out of consolidations, it can get pretty intense, meaning that's the building cause Okay, so, oh yeah, yeah, I took it out. So you had the consolidation on. Last high was 1182. You get down to 675. And 675 here, watch this. This gets interesting, because this was only a 0 0.382 retracement. Oh, well, no, it was just over, it was up. It was about a 45% retracement from the move off the bottom, you know? Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Come right back, folks.